Prior to assembling the mini extruder for the first time, clean all parts thoroughly with a mild detergent solution. This should be followed by a rinse in hot tap water and a final rinse in deionized or distilled water. Allow all parts to dry completely before assembling. To assemble the mini extruder, place the two internal membrane supports on a flat surface with the O-rings pointing upward. Then we're going to pre-wet two filter supports in DI water or buffer. Next, we will place one of our pre-wetted filter supports over the Teflon orifice on the inner diameter of the O-ring of one of our internal membrane supports. Next, we will place the internal membrane support containing the filter support into the extruder outer casing with the O-ring facing upward. Next, we will install our polycarbonate membrane into the extruder outer casing over the top of the filter support and the O-ring. As a note, the polycarbonate membranes are the thin shiny discs, not to be confused with the blue paper discs, which are separators only used to separate individual membranes and should not be installed. Additionally, the polycarbonate membranes and filter supports are intended for a single use liposome preparation and should not be reused. Now we're ready to add our remaining pre-wetted filter support to the Teflon orifice on the inner diameter of the O-ring of our remaining internal membrane support. Now we will add this internal membrane support to the extruder outer casing, this time with the O-ring pointing downward, being careful not to twist the internal membrane support as it comes in contact with the polycarbonate membrane. We add our Teflon bearing to our retainer nut, and finally, add the retainer nut to the threaded end of the extruder outer casing and hand tighten until finger tight. No need to use a wrench. Now our extruder is fully assembled and we're ready to make our liposomes. For any additional questions on extruder assembly, email us at technical at avantilipids.com.